Hello, hello, welcome back. This is a quick video about clave. I've got a few clave rhythms you can see in the center of your screen. And this came out of our Tuesday Muse Day broadcast, but I wanna do a separate video just for patrons and break this down and include a um, file, the file, the PDF, which will be right below this video in the, uh, in the post itself as an attachment. So look for that below. So let's go down this list. Uh, this is the um, sum of the various types of clave rhythms, the main ones. I'm going to explain briefly and then send you on your way to do more research. And more importantly, not just research and looking up things online and in books, but also listening. You have to listen, listen, listen to lots of music and identify uh, where is the clave? Can you hear it? What is it? You know, is it is which one is it, and how is it being used, and how does it work in the music? So, let's go down the list right now, and um, let's start with the three-two son clave, which is kind of our regular, most popular, most ubiquitous type of clave rhythm, and that is sounds like this, and and you can tap along with me, or just vocalize along with me. So, if we're of our main pulse. And I'm going to count this in what we call cut time or 2-2, two, two, which means each measure, and you can see there's two measures up there, two bars, uh, is going to be counted in two, some of the main steps. So like one, two, one, let's go. Bat, 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 one, a two, and one, and two, one, a two, and one, and two, bat, 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 bat. Bop, 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 bop. All right, that's our straight ahead clave rhythm, 3-2 clave. Now, why is it called 3-2? It's very simply because the three beats, the three hits come first in the first bar. And so here on, if you just look at the left side, after it says 3-2 son, and son refers to a style of music that preceded, it's kind of one of the predecessors of salsa. Uh, so you can look that up, but son is a, is a style of music. So this type of clave is, is, uh, was popularized uh, through the son style. Now let's back up just a second though, before we move on and talk about three, two and two, three. What is clave? What does it mean? Well, clave basically means key. It actually refers to like a peg. And so it's been, uh, it, it, it is an instrument too that looks like a peg, uh, uh, wooden sticks. But more importantly, the way it functions, and they call it like a cornerstone or a keystone, or the key to, to uh, Latin music. And you can think of maybe even a peg as something that holds things together, right? It goes in and it maybe holds a joint together, uh, wood, or it's used in construction. So there's lots of ways you can think of clave, but clave is the instrument, which is two wooden sticks, it's also a rhythm that is played on the clave. So at this point, when we say play the clave, you could literally be, you could be talking about the actual instrument and the rhythm, or you could be just talking about the rhythm. So when we say play the clave rhythm, we're talking about the rhythm here. All right, so these are different types of different variations or versions of the clave rhythm that are popular. Let's go down to the second line. Now, the only difference between 3-2 and 2-3, which is what we're going to do now, is that the 2 bar comes first. In other words, if you just look at these, the first bar uh, in 3-2 is now the second bar and vice versa. So we're going to start with the 2, which means we start with the rest. It starts, it, there's nothing on the beat 1 now because we're doing 2-3 son clave. So we count it, 1, 2, 1, here we go. Ba 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 one a two and and two dot got da ba 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 so you will hear songs mostly salsa with two three clave and uh and then it might switch where they phrase the music to three two clave and songs will sometimes switch back and forth in the phrasing, the clave rhythm does not change, but the way the music relates to it or the, you know, the musicians, the way the bass player and the piano player and the other musicians relate to that clave rhythm might change in as far, insofar as 
they might start their phrasing on the three side, they might start their phrasing on the two side. And that's a whole discussion that people have and composers will write music for a two, three phrasing or a three, two phrasing. You don't necessarily need to know that, but I'm just saying that's something that happens. You can research that, you can listen to different music and say, ah, this sounds like the phrase starts on the two side of the clave or it starts on the three side. Uh, clave is clave, it's going on constantly. Once it starts, it usually doesn't stop. It doesn't change in the song. Although there might be breaks and things uh, that will flip the way it's oriented to the listener. All right, let's go on and look at three, two, rumba clave. Now, rumba clave is more, it's related and more used in rumba, which is the folkloric, more West African influenced music. Salsa, which we were just talking about, is more of the high society ballroom dance music, you know, that you would see in nightclubs and dance halls played by a salsa band, which is sort of a combination of the Spanish classical instruments like pianos, bass, trombones, flutes, violins, um, along with some of the Afro-Cuban instruments influence like bongos um, and then timbales, which actually came out of the timpani, the kettle drums. So salsa is that. It's more of the, you know, society, fancy dance club, you know, music. Uh, and then rumba would be the music for, uh, of the people. It would be folk music played in the street, played in backyards, played at, uh, you know, in parks and just casual. And that music also, as you might guess, was more um, played by the uh, descendants or at the time slaves uh, and descendants of the people uh, that were brought to Cuba from West Africa. And then, you know, that whole melting pot of languages and rhythms and drums and music and everything that happened there. So that's what we see on the rumba side. And rumba, you usually have just drums, uh, you know, maybe a cowbell, clave, uh, scrapers. Um, but the main uh, melodic content is just coming from singing. So it's usually just drumming and singing, and then there's they'll be dancing. Uh, and that's rumba. So rumba, and we're going to relate this to the, to the bottom rhythm, the Afro-Cuban 6-8 later. But for now, we're going to look at what makes rumba clave and really the only difference between 3-2 rumba clave and the 3-2 song clave is one note. So I want to draw your attention to the first measure. Uh, and we're looking at the third line down right now. The, th the first measure, you'll see if you look up at the top, that the last beat in the first bar is a quarter note. In 3-2 rumba clave, that is now pushed uh, a, half, a half a beat later, or an eighth note later, to the last eighth note. What does that sound like? So I'm going to start with a couple bars of son clave, the first one we did, and then I'm going to switch over to 3-2 rumba clave so you can kind of pick up the difference. All the other notes are the same, so four out of the five notes of the clave are going to be the same. Just that one note is different. So let's start with 3-2 son clave two times, and then I'll switch to 3-2 rumba clave. One, two, one, let's go. Ba, ba, ba. Ba 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 switch ba 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 Now that's the one that gives people a little bit of trouble. It's a little syncopated, meaning it's off the main beat. It's something to practice. But if you listen to rumba, like rumba wa wonko, so you can search wa wonko folkloric music of Cuba, you know, search in that in that genre, use those keywords, and you'll hear that rhythm, da, 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 da. And it can be played slow, like ba, 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 or it could be ba, 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 it could be very fast. All right, let's go on and look at a related rhythm to both clave, although this tends to be more in the folkloric style, in the rumba style, and that is the palitos pattern. Baila means stick. Palitos is little sticks. And usually we'll have a couple little sticks and they will be playing this pattern. So we're looking at the palitos uh, line now, the fourth line down. One, two, one, two. Da 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 da
Da-dun, da-da-dun, da-dun, dun, da da So the 3-2 rumba clave is contained within that. All of the notes are there. And uh, let me show you by bringing them out uh, through accenting them. So you start off with the palitos. Para, 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 pam, para, da, 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 da. So you'll hear players uh, play the palitos pattern and thereby play the clave pattern. So they're both contained within the palitos pattern. That's why palitos pattern is important because it contains the uh, the clave as well. So you might hear either the clave by itself or the palitos or both of them. Finally, we're going to look at the bottom line, Afro-Cuban 6-8 clave. This is notated here using the triplets, the triplet indicator, which is what those threes are about. But I would normally, you probably write this in 6-8 or 12-8, a different meter, but because we're, this whole system here uh, <laughs> that you're looking at is written in cut time or 2-2. Two, two. Uh, actually, it's in common time. Never mind. Because it's because of the way it's notated, I had to put this in uh, in triplets within this notation. But just just note that note that uh, notation a a rhythm can be notated differently, and it can sound the same, but it can on paper it can look different. It's the same rhythm musically though. You're going to hear the same thing. So I'm going to play it for you, and then I'm going to relate it to three two rumba clave. So Afro-Cuban 6-8 clave, you usually hear this pattern. It's like uh, one, two, one, two, ba, 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 ging, 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 dun, de, 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 dun, da, de, de, da, ding, ding, dun, de, de, ba, bim, bi, ba, 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 So if I omit a couple notes, we get something that's very close to 3-2 rumba clave. We'll listen to that again. I'll start off with the Afro-Cuban 6-8. I'm going to drop a couple notes. I'm going to bring out a rhythm that sounds almost like 3-2 rumba clave. And then I'm going to switch over to kind of more of a straight feel like 4-4 or 2-2 feel. And you'll see how close they are. Uh, so here we go. 1, 2, 1, 2. So the Avercuban, the six eight clave which would be even more African influenced uh, is very close and probably led to the creation of the rumba clave, the three, two rumba clave that we did earlier. Um, some people believe that. I don't know. I'm not a ethnomusicologist or historian, but certainly they are very similar. Just a little tweak in the feel and you can go from one to the other. All right. So that concludes this kind of introduction and rundown to the most popular types of clave rhythms. Again, you can get the handout or the, this PDF clave Afro-Cuban um, below. Thanks for being a patron. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys in a future video.